Hey guys, Daily Man here, and today I am bringing you some gameplay from Wimsley Shire, aka the Pony Level. Uh, this was in Nightmare Mode. I just sort of got invited into it and thought, why not? Um, so in this, you'll see I actually go down um, a fair few times just because I was severely underleveled and undergeared to be in here. Uh, so pretty much the guy that had invited us in, there was three of us, he was just carrying all of us. But just thought while I was in there, I'd record it because I I'd, I'd haven't been in here before. Um, I'm still trying to get in there, trying to find all the parts. I found um, the shin bone, but so far no luck for the other parts. So still working on that um, to be able to get in there myself. But when he offered, I definitely jumped at the chance and thought, well, I'll jump in and show you guys what's in Wimsley Shire. Um, immediately right off the bat. It made me smile, just seeing how brightly coloured everything is. When you go from the Diablo game into Wimsley Shire, uh, it's just a surreal um, difference when you look at it, because it's just so colourful, so bright, so happy, yet little happy things want to kill you. Um, being owned by a pony was definitely something that was a little weird. But still fun nonetheless, and in this, like, there is the most loot I have ever seen in any little dungeon ever. I actually ended up having to go through halfway through it to teleport back out just to um, put some more in the bank because I, I just ran out of room. And that wasn't even picking up the trash, that was just picking up blue items. Uh, it was probably also because the guy that invited us in, he didn't actually want any of the loot, so he was just sort of dropping it and I was grabbing it. Um, that was just a free-for-all between the three of us that were in there with him. Uh, luckily, I, I actually got a fair bit of it, so... Um, yeah, uh, I got to take a fair bit of it back, and that's why... I think that's why I ended up having to swap... Oh, there we go. There's my first down. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a, there's a lot more of them to come. Being owned by a teddy bear. Awesome. And even more funny is the fact that the teddy bears don't have anything on the ponies. Those ponies, man, like, seriously, those are some tough ponies. But yeah, inside Wimbley Shire, I just think it's awesome. Even if you're looking at, like, the little map in the top right, everything's just rainbowed and just a cool little place. But through here, I actually, I've actually had to change my uh, build a lot more since this as well, because the build that I was using just wasn't right. Um, but now... It's not too bad, I just can't find any really majorly good gear, so that's letting me down a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what level I was in this, but I think I'm level 49 now, so I can't, still can't even get into hell, but you know, I'm just taking my time, having some fun with the game. Really enjoying it now that the servers are actually letting me on a lot more often. I think I go down here again, anywhere with ponies generally, there we go, yep. Those ponies are tough, man. Just stay away from the ponies. You know, when you, you, you're a little kid and, you know, you want to go off a pony ride, yeah, don't go on a pony ride in Diablo, that's for sure. Not unless you want to get your head stomped, dude. But, you know, that's, that's not something we want. So here we go, he's reviving me yet again. <laughs> See, there we go, a couple of rares and stuff in there. It's just amazing the amount of loot that was dropping. Um, the amount of gold as well was insane, so it's just a fun, a fun little place. I'm definitely trying to get all the work to get all the stuff for it now because I want to get back in there. But aside from that, uh, I can't get in there at the moment, so I can't really bring any more gameplay. But this one, I thought while I'm in there, I have to record it, um, and I'm so glad I did because it's just the coolest level. I have to say by far this is my favourite part of the game. Just simply because it's so completely different and well the enemies in there are actually really really tough. They might not be for if I was leveled and geared properly but I wasn't so it made it even more fun. Um, you know getting my butt handed to me by a pony. Here we go some more ponies. 
probably going to come over and kill me again. All I really did was just run around and hide behind the big guy. <laughs> There's nothing more I can do. Um, this is actually quite a long video. A 20 minute video, so I don't even know what to talk about. Um, that was the cool little thing too. You just clap for the, the big happy bouncing clouds and you know, they just spit loot out. <laughs> there we go. He's dropping some rares and gems and I'm picking them up. But yeah, I'm still trying to work on the monk build at the moment. Um, I think my problem now is I don't have enough vitality, so I'm going to have to work on that and try and work around it. But I've only just hit 2.2k uh, DPS, so I was pretty, pretty happy with that, but I'm probably going to have to lose a fair bit of it to try and um, get the vitality up just simply so I don't die all the time because I just finished Nightmare last night um, at level 49 so that's why I can't get into hell yet but I'll tell you what it truly was a nightmare to try and do so um, I think hell will be aptly named um, maybe they should change the name of to Inferno if you know this is just bull crap, but I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much in Inferno, seeing as I'm from Australia. And last night I had here's uh, here's actually something I'd like to talk about. If any of you guys are from Australia, what is the worst ping that you guys get? Because last night I was up to well over one and a half thousand ping. It was absolutely ridiculous. I ended up having to call in. Um, a couple of friends simply because I couldn't do it. I couldn't every uh, ability that I was using. Literally, I could press it, press it, press it about 50 times, and it just didn't work. And the next thing you know, I was dead. So that that's uh, it's something that really annoys me. Being you know an Australian gamer, that Blizzard hasn't brought a server over here. They have the money to do it. Um, there's a lot of people saying that it was Telstra's fault, Telstra wouldn't let them have it. That's a load of crap. Um, if you actually do the research now, they do have the means to put a server up here. Um, Telstra's offered it to them. A lot of other companies here have the ability to do it, so... I just don't get why they're not doing it. Here we go, I being chased by one of the elite teddy bears. <laughs> My injuries are Crazy little severe. things. Um, but yeah, it's just really annoying. I think they should definitely bring one out here, because that's pathetic. Like, one of the guys, luckily he was Canadian, um, his ping was sitting at, like, between 50 and 90, while mine's sitting up around, you know, 1,500 to 1,800. The game just become un became unplayable, and now, if I was to, you know get to Inferno, Hell's going to be a hard enough time for me, I think. Hell is going to be exactly that. It's going to be Hell, because if I'm getting lag like that, then I, I can't tell when I was taking damage last night. Through the, um, through the fight, through Act 4 and through Diablo, really, I was just kind of clicking, 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 and I guess when I'd need to heal, it, it worked. I survived and I lived, but um, I, don't have enough I didn't actually know when I had to heal. I couldn't see when I was taking damage. I just sort of hit the buttons when I thought I'd need to and, you know, played the game five seconds ahead of what was actually happening. So that, that was the only good thing. When you actually pay attention to game mechanics and you pay attention to your character and generally how much the, the mobs around me were hitting, I could just sort of guess it out. And that's pretty much what I had to do last night. It was the most frustrating thing ever. But I got through it and now I just got to work up. And, um, get the last level before I can go into hell and then uh, no, we'll see how that's going to work. I don't think it's really going to work for me. I'm pretty sure I'll be stuck in Nightmare forever or unless I can just farm Act 1 maybe of hell just to get items that are crazily, you know, amped up so that my character just can't die, but if I'm dealing with the lag that I had, 
Uh, I don't see too much of a future. Here we go, he's dropping some more stuff and I'm running around grabbing it. Um, I think it's almost around here where I figure out that I'm full. But yeah, now we're just sort of searching back around the map because we'd realised we'd miss bits. <laughs> These little teddy bears are cool. It's like giant gummy bears. I love the way they explode too, the heads just fly off everywhere. It's awesome. It's a little bit brutal, and yeah, that's another thing too. You get little um, little presents lying around. That's sort of just like the barrels and stuff that you generally smash open. So here you go out to run away a little bit because the ponies have come over. By the end of it, my by the end of this, my arm was absolutely ruined. I think it ended up costing me like two k just to repair, but it was alright because I, I found a hell of a lot more than that um, when I was in there. I think. I think roughly I picked up about 20k in here. It was actually, you know, an insane amount of gold, which was pretty good. Here we go, clapping for some more. That's the guy there that let us in. The one standing with me now. Um, as you can see, by the, at the end of it, I was just following him around just to try and keep myself out of trouble a little bit. Yeah, there we go, and now I'm checking just to see what I've got. Realising that I've only got one item space left. <laughs> Some pretty good loot though. I don't know what took me so long there. Why I was checking that for so long, but... Now I've just decided to run off and try and catch up to him. Oh, that's why I was typing. I see. More gold, more gold. You <laughs> see these little sparkly things bouncing all over the screen. <laughs> little happy clouds. I love those little happy clouds. So there you go. Full inventory. I think here I quickly... Oh, I'm getting destroyed by a bear. I I'll check if there's anything I can yet. throw away. But, um... So guys in America, do you get... Leave it in the in the comments below if he's actually watched to this point. How much lag do you use get and how often or does it just not happen at all? Because honestly I'd love to trade with you right now. Yeah, I know a lot of you is gonna say, Oh, you've keep too much crap in your bank. I do, I've cleaned it all out now. Um, I was sort of keeping it for friends and other characters. Um I think it was later this night actually that uh four of my friends came on and um I just sort of offloaded a whole bunch of stuff to them and just piled it onto them. Most of it, most of this stuff that I found though, I just went back and sold because um, it wasn't worth keeping. And see, even through this part here, like, I actually might cut some of this part out because it's going to get very boring. But there you go, I filled my bank and I had to run all the way, had to go back in. Um, and just sort of catch up with everyone to see where they'd all been. Here he is dropping some more stuff. I'm just waiting for the blues to drop so I can grab them. He has taken the gems as well. And the little happy flowers come to get me. <laughs> That's the thing too, the health globes. They're um, big pink cupcakes. So if you see a cupcake, you know, and you're dying a little bit, it's always good. Cake makes you feel better. Same as in Diablo 3, obviously. Here's some ponies. I'll probably die here as well. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that was close. Oh, I got away with that one. Awesome. Kept up enough healing to get away with that one. I did like the little fire ally, but um, since then I've had to swap for Serenity just for that extra healing and the protection. Um, the fire ally, it was actually pretty good. I don't think it says it in the description of what it does, but a lot of the times I found that um, the enemies would actually go off and attack him rather than me. He was sort of like a decoy as well as that little bit of extra damage. There we go, I think I'm going to die again. Yep. But, um, 
I found him to be a quite an effective decoy and that's sort of what I was using him for a lot of the time but now uh, where I'm up to in that uh, act like three and four of uh, nightmare his health just wasn't enough um, another thing in the comments below just let me know um, with the elite mobs what is your worst two um, abilities that they have to work together because I found one one mob that it took me so long to kill them it was um I'm not sure what they're called you, you probably know them the the guys that put their arm in the in the ground and then it comes up you know wherever you are and starts poisoning you but they also had jailer as well so pretty much they'd jail me use the little poison arm and that was it it was all over and I was like oh my god you gotta be kidding me but you know that, that that one was pretty hard but I got past them but another one the worst one I don't know how it happened because I don't think Nightmare is supposed to have three abilities but these guys were actually able to heal themselves at the same time as having arcane sentries and frozen so it took me for ever to kill these guys it was so much kiting it's not funny um, but yeah th those two were probably the worst I've encountered so far I think Molten and Mortar is also a bit of a OP combination um, for at least for me and my gear set there we go I've gone down again so did the guy beside me um, but yeah, some of the combinations are absolutely terrible, so I'm not looking forward to hell when I find out that they've got even more abilities, because I think they've got like three or four or something, so that's definitely not going to be a fun thing to look forward to. I'm going to get destroyed every five seconds, I reckon. Um, that's why I'll probably be just farming um, Diablo in Nightmare for a fair while just to try and get some gear up, because and some gold because I, I don't think my gear at the moment is gonna hold up and it doesn't help all, all my friends are all demon hunters so they all need the same thing they all need dexterity as well so I, I've been able to give my friends that are barbarians heaps of stuff like I have another barbarian as well he's only level 29 so he's pretty decked out but I haven't been able to get any items off my friends because everything they find they need and I haven't been able to give them anything or well, through their lower levels I was I was just palming off all my old gear but now that they're sort of catching up with me it's just becoming impossible to try and you know get gear from my friends um but that's all right I'll I'll, I'll find it. it's just gonna take a fair while I think but this is just the the very end we found the end of it um and now we're just going through trying to uncover everything just to get those last bits of gold uh the last blue items because like i said they're everywhere like seriously this was the most loot i've ever found in the space of 20 minutes it was awesome um same as the gold before i sold everything i'm almost positive i made 20 or 30k so that was good because I just bought and bought a whole bunch of stuff in the auction house as well so I really needed it here comes an elite mob of ponies which probably means I'm gonna die so I'm just keeping my distance oh, here they come ready oh no I'm still alive I'm still kicking oh well, there you go that's, that's what level I was I was only level 40 in there um because I've just reached level 41 in this video now I'm just running around some more. I'm actually pretty sure I die here as well. Um, My wounds are close. I think it's trying to revive that guy. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Always happens every time I try to revive someone, I get killed. So, yeah, but I can't help myself. I can't leave people dead. I try to help them. And there we go. Picking up some more gold, some more blue items. I think it's definitely the most fun. Once I can get into Wimsley Shire, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play it over and over again. Um, but I think this is just the last little section here. As you can see, I filled my inventory again. 
So completely filled it twice, completely filled my bank. And yeah, this is pretty much the end of Wimsley Shire. So hope you guys all enjoyed seeing what it is. See, there's the map. <laughs> Just a little rainbow land of clouds and and stuff like that. So yeah, but you know, I hope this wasn't too boring for you. I didn't expect. I didn't actually think we were in there for 20 minutes. That's a pretty long dungeon, but it's probably because um, the three of us kept dying so often. So yeah, it didn't make it easy. It was sort of just that guy soloing while we just kited around and tried to kill some flowers and little teddy bears because the big guys, well, we had no chance. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I just teleported back to town and got rid of some stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video um, and a little bit of gameplay. Please remember to like and subscribe. It always helps. And yeah, have fun, guys. Keep owning, and hopefully I'll see you in the game. Later.